So we've talked about plot, conflict here, person versus person, person versus the environment, and person versus self. And that conflict then is definitely of the problems that the characters must face. So let me shift over here and go to another element of the story, which would be character. Now we've already discussed protagonist and antagonist. Reviewing quickly, protagonist has the problem, the antagonist makes the problem. Even children with preschool years where they're just a listener, they do not have any reading uh, abilities at this point, can understand the person that has the problem and the person that makes the problem. If you're discussing the story that you're reading with your, your toddler, you can work this in. Just have a discussion of like, who has that problem and, and how did that problem, who made that problem? That's the kind of thing that sets the thinking pattern in the direction and the trajectory that we definitely need that child to take because very soon when they get into school, they're going to be discussing the problem and how it's solved and how it's made and so forth. So start early. You can just work that in as part of your conversation when you're discussing the story. Another part of the character, the elements of the story under character, would be whether the character is static or dynamic. A static character stays the same. The character doesn't really change much from the beginning of the story to the end of the story. My, one of my favorite examples of static character would be Cinderella. Cinderella was a really nice person at the beginning of the story, and she continued to be uh, very nice throughout the whole fairy tale. Even though she was, she took, it took a lot of energy for her to remain constant with that, she really didn't change from the beginning of the episode until the end. A, dyna a dynamic character is one that makes a change. There's a change from, from the character, the way the character behaves or thinks or the philosophy at the beginning of the story to, to take, through, take the character through to the end of the story. An example of this might be Scrooge in A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Scrooge was, bah humbug, I don't like Christmas, uh, don't, I'm not coming to any parties, I'm just going to sit and count my money. Oh, bah humbug, why are we even celebrating? Then he kind of gets snapped by ghost number one. The, the ghost is reminding uh, Scrooge of how much fun it used to be when he actually participated in the festivities. But bah humbug, Scrooge has not changed at that point. Ghost number two comes in, that was Christmas past was ghost number one, Christmas um, present, the ghost, the second ghost, talks about how the Scrooge could, has been invited to his nephew's house, why doesn't he go, uh, he can, he can soften his heart and, and, uh, you know, celebrate the holiday. Bah humbug, bah humbug, once again. So he's got to get another knock here. Ghost number three enters and says, you know, if you don't straighten up, nobody's going to care anything about you. And you'll, in your old age, so forth, you're going to be just, nobody will come to, uh, to like you at all. And you'll be shunned. And Scrooge is like, whoa, that kind of shook his world. And there was now a change that happened after ghost number three, where Scrooge actually considered what the, the consequences might be of keeping the same behavior pattern that he was now experiencing. So the change happened in Scrooge, and then as the story progresses, he becomes a, a real fan of Christmas and 
is giving, loving, and really gets into the spirit. So there was a di dynamic or developing character change within Scrooge. His character was bah humbug at the beginning, switching over to uh, let's party. 